Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with the final Let's Play episode of our little winter mini zoo series that we had going on through the month of December. And in the previous episode, we did add this cute little Arctic fox, this fluffy little ball. I just absolutely love these guys. They are so adorable. Adorable, as long as they don't make any sounds. No, that's it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They are just making such an adorable sound, but it can be super annoying when they do it like too often. But in this episode, we're going to wrap up this series. We have one more spot left right over here, off which we're going to add an animal. And we are also going to add a little, I, I'm not sure exactly just yet, but something festive because we are ending the month of December with some nice little festive lights and stuff. So uh, yeah, but we do need... The oh, there you go. There's the uh, sound of the little Arctic Fox. But there is still a lot of stuff to do before we are able to do that. Now, there are some animals growing up and that would be the European badgers. So I am going to put these guys here in the training center right away. Also the Amur Leopard already grew up, so I guess we're also going to put the Amur Leopard on the training center market. And there is another European badger right over here. The skunks are also already growing up, so that is super fast. We already have these. There's one that wasn't uh, growing up just yet, so I had to put it back because it was still like an, uh, a little baby. But we can also put these guys now up in a training center. They're all a golden status, by the way. That is amazing. And uh, yeah, I actually did plan to add a different animal in this last episode, but then I was like, you know what? Reindeers! I mean, I don't really think that a reindeer is an animal that I will be adding in any other animal anytime soon so this was actually the perfect spot to just add the reindeers as the last animal in here so uh, i actually wonder if i have any reindeer rewards in here i don't really think so no i do not have that i always keep forgetting to check that list so <laughs> i guess it's just a good thing to do and check that one as well. Let's see if this little skunk has already grown up. Yes, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna put you back in the training center. We do need to make sure that because you are injured. So let's go and assign a vet for you so we can make sure and take care of you and make you better and healthy again. So talking about vets, I feel like we should have a look right over here because we can actually put candle maybe to do some advanced research right over here, which is going to help us with our educational rating. But what is also going to help is one thing that is the conservation signs. I feel like we should actually add a few conservation signs in here. We also have some loans to repay, but our money is doing pretty well at this point. Wait, maybe I can actually add a few of these right in here. Are you actually aligned to the walls right over here? I'm not entirely sure, so I'm, I'm just going to do it like this. I feel like maybe we can just squeeze in one or two, just one on one, uh, one on both sides. Oh wait, I actually want to put you a little bit. This is actually a good spot. Like in the beginning, I had like a webcam here connected to the burrows, but since they are glitching, I feel like we should just do something else right over here. Maybe we should also recolor these. So maybe just like this, this darker red color. Is that like looking well? Oh, how about that gray color? Maybe a little bit darker. Is this better? I think this, this is the better gray color. So now if we just re-click this one and just put it on the other side and rotate it, I feel like we are able to just squeeze in one more. I'm not even going to check really what we are going to select here as information. I feel like it, it doesn't really matter because we don't have that many in our zoo. But also something else that we can do because I remember like we had a skunk in here that passed away and someone even mentioned but I totally missed out on that. 
that this skunk actually was pregnant when it died and that is just super sad but uh, this skunk was an elderly so we can create a memorial here right and if we just add like one it doesn't have to be like super obvious or anything but i feel like if we just add a little memorial sign right over here we can replace the image but I don't really feel like we should. In loving memory. Yeah, we don't really have to change anything. So I feel like this is just a really cute little idea to also add. Oh yeah, okay, just just turn around here because, well, th there's just some weird thing going on here with the skunks. I don't know. I really have no idea. Okay, our money is doing pretty well. So I actually can already repay this 20k loan and then we only have to repay the 50k loan how about our entrance ticket price is that all right already yes the zoo ticket price is great so i'm not going to change anything for that i do feel like we should add a few more educational or conservation signs somewhere around here but the question is where <laughs> oh wait maybe we can actually squeeze in like one or two on these sides right over here one on this side and one on the other side but like we have some space in here so if we just lower you put you a little bit further away there's nothing in the back so if i just recolor you i wonder like maybe a little bit of a a brown tone on this side maybe with red i mean there is also some red going on right over here so i guess this is good and then we can have some... Can I click you? Oh, there you go. Uh, land sharing versus land sparing. And then we go to the other side and we just rotate you like that. Is that like already on the right spot? Yes. Okay, perfect. And let's change this to invasive species. Let's just do that. So now we have some more conservation signs is there any spot here mm, these are pretty low walls i don't really feel like i can really squeeze in run over here but we do have a lot oh my goodness what is going on here <gasps> there is so much trash okay i feel like we should hire a few caretakers in here Let's, let's hire full. I feel like that might not be a bad idea. How many do we have? We only have seven for like the whole zoo. Hell no. <laughs> we are going to hire three more. I feel like 10 people is, is just a perfect amount of caretakers. And if we just go and train them, that should all be good. Like it's not a super big zoo. But especially right over here, there is so much going on. I feel like that is just a good thing. So if we are able to squeeze in, like we can't really stick them through the walls right over here. I think that is going to look a little bit odd. So I wonder if this is, how is this going to look? Okay, well, maybe this is the furthest. Yes, okay, this is the furthest they can go. Put one just right over here on the edge I like I'm, I'm I'm aligning it to the wall from above maybe we can just add another one right next to it let's just do that I mean this is going to help a lot with our education amphibian extinction crisis I don't think we have that one just yet we, we might but then right over here we're gonna have the let's see over exploitation and they added a lot more didn't they repair of the ozone layer okay we have full right now over here i think that is just perfect and we have some toilets on that side i feel like this already is helping a lot let's have a quick look right over here okay so guest education is now ooh, four stars completely four stars do we no marketing is already five stars so we can add some more webcams but it's not really going to change anything 
the guest happiness rating is going up a lot more. Well, not really a lot more, but it's green now. I think I remember when the previous episode when we checked, it was like somewhere in orange or something. So that is good. Thirst could be better. Education could still be better. Oh, goodness. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> we have an injured animal. Wait, is that the animal that I just checked? Why can I not see that? Like, the education is pretty bad right over here. Oh, do not do I not have any education here for the rat panda? You know what we can do? I actually like to do that a lot more lately. Just, just hide away a sign in here. And then I'm gonna put one right in here. And then we're gonna put one just right in here. And then we're going to... Just add some speakers around here. I actually don't know if there are already speakers, but there's just one way to find out. So if we just click this one, there is none. There are two on the inside. So there are some, but we could definitely use some of these and add a little bit more education around here. And then just one more on this side, just overlapping a little bit of the path here in the crossing. Okay, this is going to help at least for the red panda, but also we probably need some more here for the uh, for the badger. So if we just copy paste you and go into hi you in here. I actually don't know if you actually need to do this. I feel like the speakers do most of the job here with the, with the education. So, uh, but, but well, at least we, we kind of have them. So we can have one down here and then another one right over here. Uh, do we need to overlap that? Wait, can I click you? Yes. With the sign maybe a little bit like that. And then, okay, let's have one right over here as well shall we just add one more no i think this might be enough so how about the education here around the amur leopard guess education why are you in red no power where's the power then <laughs> goodness there's power like just a tiny little tad away there is a lamp here. Well, this is like a little corner. I think this is this is totally fine. Okay, so let's go to the educational coverage. There are already a lot of speakers around here, so I'm not too worried about that. There are speakers now here, speakers now there. There is something overlapping. Oh, that is the, <laughs> the educator. Well, that is all right. And I don't really mind that. There, there is a speaker right over here. W what are you doing? There's a speaker right over here, but I actually do not know. Oh, you see, I did also hide some signs right over here. So I'm not able to click that one, am I? I don't think so. I don't know if it's actually doing a talk. This one is also... <gasps> oh, there was no education here at all. Okay, then, then I'm just going to put this one into the ground. And now it's red because of the educational talk. <laughs> Gosh, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, so we have, we are still earning money. We still need to repay one loan. We did add the uh, memorial sign. We have a beautiful white reindeer, by the way. A leucistic one. And this is the male one. So that is going to be super amazing. I, I just couldn't help myself. There, there, It was like so cheap. It was only like a 100 uh, conservation credits so I felt like I should just adopt that one I'm going to adopt a few more females we can have quite some animals in one habitat it's like 3 to 12 one male up to 11 females they have a number of offspring of one so uh, yeah we need a quite a big habitat right over here if it's like 11 for example but we do have quite some space here so we can make sure oh where is it it's so hard to see when it rains but we can actually see it from here and it is quite a big space and then we're going to have a few shops and stuff we need 
uh, a toilet as well. We need some ATMs as well around the zoo because that is going to make sure that the guests are uh, able to stay longer in our zoo. So yeah, a lot of stuff to do. So without further talking, let's just go and start building. we have some reindeers i did use this barn i saw some pictures online of like a really cool barn and then i was like oh my goodness but i have like this really beautiful barn from the tropical franchise mode that we did and uh, just to change like fences and stuff definitely can bring in like a different vibe to your habitat also like these fences here around the trees I absolutely love this and then with like the the white and stuff it definitely looks similar but yet different from the habitat that we did in the tropical franchise mode look at that beauty right over there this is awesome the only downside like I was building this and then it turned out that the fence was too low so the reindeers were able to jump over so I had to like go back and like raise this fence a lot more to make sure that they were not able to escape. Like, um, okay, we have some Christmas decorations here. I mean, it is like, it's a reindeer. So I thought like, you know, we're gonna add some festive decorations right over here. I am going to add some more festive decorations for the end tour. So do stay tuned for that. But I just really wanted to add a little bit right over here oh gosh the escaping animals is ridiculous 
I did replace these uh, signs here, but I, I, I realized that they need to be a little bit uh, less bright because they are very, very bright at this point. And we have some ATMs right over here. We have a lot more ATMs around the zoo now. So I did add a few right over here and I think somewhere outside here as well at this. Oh, it's so busy here. It looks so cozy. Oh, I love it, but it's pretty busy right over here. There are some ATMs right over here. There are some ATMs on that side. I actually, the only thing that I did not add were some toilet. <laughs> so I guess the gas will, uh, will, will really need some toilets. The, the, the most nearby toilets are somewhere over here. Because this is the skunk habitat, so it's all the way over here. They're not going to like that, but I don't have space anymore to squeeze them in. <laughs> But I am really happy with how this has turned out. We have some cute little Christmas stalls or market stalls right over here, which is going to uh, be decorated a little bit more with the end tour here at the uh, plaza. What do we have now? Animal is stressed. We have a badger that is stressed. You're walking all the way in the back here, but yet you are super stressed. So I, I feel like we should just move you. I guess that is going to fix it. Uh, so that is Chris, and Chris is the only animal alert that we have right now. So this should fix itself, most likely. We did, we did already add like these signs in the in the ground here for the do not disturb things. And what do we have? Oh, many guests think the the ticket prices are on the price. So let's go and make this a twenty four and a twenty three. Look at this. We have a really good zoo reputation. The only thing that we need is the animal rating, but we're not going to add more variety in here. So uh, I'm sorry, guests, but you have to live with the animal roster that we have right now because we are not going to add any more animals in here. So let's see, because obviously I did add like a lot of these uh, animal talking points, but I actually want to delete those. I want to add the tour in here even though i feel like they are still a pretty bugged at this point we're gonna add it anyway so we are going to add one point i feel like the guests should like maybe gather right over here it, it's snapping to one side or the other side so i'm just gonna add one right over here this is going to be the starting point then we're going to have an animal talk right over here maybe somewhere here in the corner so it's not well we actually had it right over here so maybe we should just add it again right over here but i, I don't really like the signs too much shall we go to the right side i feel like that might be a good one okay so we have the animal talk right over here which i'm going to delete so this one is going to be replaced now with these little uh, tour points right over here do they already work no we have hot tabs but we do not have any japanese macaque using them which is such a shame i really really wish that they uh would have been fixed by now but it is with Ooh, what are... <laughs> where am i going okay wait we have the japanese macaque right over here so then we should go to this area. There is an animal talk right over here. You are actually working on that, but I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm going to add this talking point right over there. Then we have two animals right over here. We have the red panda and we have the badger. And I feel like we should have an animal talk here at the outside at the mountain. And then, because we, we did not add any here, right? Okay, then I feel like maybe we should add one here at the corner. It's snapping through the walls, which I actually don't really like. So I'm going to add one right over here. And then we go, we have the Amur Leopard. So let's go to the uh, Arctic Fox right over here. Maybe just right in the middle of this bigger viewing gallery. We want to add a sign in here at the reindeer habitat. And I feel like, ugh, can we squeeze it in nicely here? Not exactly how we want it to be, but it is what it is. So one over there and then the skunk habitat will be replaced as well. This point right over here. 
So we're gonna add this little sign right over there, and then we only need. Oh, I totally forgot the intermission points. Wait. Okay, so we're gonna add the end point. The end point is gonna be on this side then. Uh, hide it away a little bit like this. Okay, we need intermission points. I totally forgot about that. So we have guests come in, they go to the raccoons. Maybe they should just right away go back here and use the shops on this side. And then they go to the Japanese macaque. Then they go to the Amur Leopard. Then they're going to use these, these little uh, market stands. I think that is a good one. So how are we going to... Maybe just right over here, like that. Then they go to the Red Panda. Then they go to the Badger Habitat. Yes, okay. Uh, isn't that too much? Okay, then they go to the Arctic Forest. We don't have any shops on this side, so I guess... Then they need an intermission point right over here at these mark stands, but they're go not gonna like it because <laughs> there are no toilets here. So that is going to become a big issue. I'm just not used to these intermission points. Maybe we can have these shops in there as well. So we're gonna have a little sign right over here. And now if we connect them, hopefully I do that right. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game. Open the tour manager. So we have no tour. We're gonna have the zoo tour, like so. We're gonna select the tour start, which is going to be this little point right over here. Okay, so now let's go and connect all the uh, the middle points for the tour. So we're gonna have a raccoon right over here. Then, okay, I feel like maybe just go to the Japanese macaque first then use the intermission and then we go right over here so we have the intermission so then we go and have two talks again so we're gonna do the red panda we're gonna do the badger habitat and then we go and use the ice skating ring and these little christmas stands and from there we go to i feel like this is a better order to do so the amur leopard then we have the arctic fox then we go to the intermission point right over here at the reindeers yes yes i feel like this is going to work at least i hope so then we're gonna add the reindeer itself now we are heading to the striped skunk habitat which is right over here and then we will have the last intermission point like this confirm and then we're gonna add the end point, which will be this particular section. Confirm. Assign species to talk activities. I feel like I already did that, but maybe I did forget. This is, oh, this is an intermission. Okay, so that should be good now. Open tour, yes, everything, it has a check mark on it. We have a tour fee, which would be $5. I feel like that should be a good one. And we're gonna have a little gray sign to it. And then we have, well, we cannot really see the, the tour rating just yet. So that is going to uh, appear later on once the guest did the tour, I guess. So now all I'm going to do is add like this work roster and add some educators in there. So they are responsible for doing the tours through the zoo. Okay, so now we have the tour order, which is raccoon, Japanese macaque, intermission one. Red Panda European Badger Intermission 2, Amur Leopard Arctic Fox Intermission 3, Reindeer Striped Skunk and Intermission 4, and then they will end the tour at this point right over here. I think this is just perfect for the guests to see the whole zoo and get like this animal talk at every habitat if they want to. So I'll, uh, I'll, I, I hope they will enjoy it, even though there might not be <laughs> enough toilets around the zoo which is kind of pity. Our money is going up really well, so that is a good thing. What do we have right over here? A vet has not attended to the habitat in a long time. Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot. Um, we have two vets right now, but the educators need to be assigned still. We have two vets, so I'm going to train that one. You know what, we have money. I am going to train all our staff 
but we have four educators right now. Do we want to add these educators all? I think so. I think I just want to add them all in the zoo tour, even though they're not all fully trained. I feel like with four educators, well, we have eight habitats. So wouldn't it be like, I'm still trying to figure out because it's so bugs. I just don't know exactly how things work, but maybe it's just a good thing to hire four educators. So you have an animal talk filled with an educator all the time, most likely. I don't know if that is, is an idea, but we could at least try and do this. I did make a work roster, including some staff rooms. I'm not sure if they are close enough for these educators. They're not trained all completely so that is also going to be a, a challenge oh that's right where are you the arctic fox the arctic fox did get some offspring in here oh that's not you <laughs> where are you oh wait 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 you are dark colored they changed that it wasn't it was actually like the the summer coat that they gave to the offspring wait a second this one but they gave the offspring now also a variety of fur colors this was the only color i'm sure of that oh i did not know that they changed that that's so funny i love that this this is basically from like going in real life it is from going from the white color that they have Wait, no, do I say that right? No, they have a black color during summer and then a white color during winter time. And this is basically the color that the code that they have in between. And they gave, I'm not really sure why that is actually that they gave this pattern to these young ones. But uh, well, it, at least we have different color variations. So I'm, I'm so happy to see that they actually gave this black color. Let's just go there one more time. The black color. We have four little ones in here. I uh, maybe I I do like these these. I keep saying black actually, but but it's it's a dark brown color. <laughs> Don't make so much noise. <laughs> we have four in here, but that's amazing. Oh, I love that. Look at you. They're really beautiful. And and the Arctic Fox is so easy to reproduce in captivity. Oh gosh, don't tell me. What? Oh yeah, floating macaques, you guys. Uh, do I have money for that? Yes, okay. Oh, why did I do that? It was <laughs> like floating in the middle of the habitat. We really didn't have to do that. Okay, let's go back to our vet research because are we already done with all the research? Yes, perfect. So the red pen is done. We can put you and do some advanced research here, which is going to give us like the um, the highest educational rate. Well, almost. We almost are at five stars. Marketing is doing well. Guest happiness rating is doing well. The animal rating is doing well. Guys, I feel like four and a half stars for like a mini zoo like this is definitely... Oh no, wait, what? What, what, what is that? Oh, don't tell me it's a Japanese macaque again. Gosh, Frontier needs to fix that because it's costing you so much money and so much protest it's just like with the climbing frames and such it's just so frustrating do we already have you guys are hungry i have a keeper connected to this habitat so that should not be an issue we don't have any offspring here so i can only hope that we will be seeing some offspring with the last uh, tour that we're going to do with this series i do hope like this was definitely a little bit less detailed series really just a little filler up series for this december month this winter festive month so i do really hope you guys did enjoy this little mini series do let me know in the comments down below in the next year we are obviously going to start 
a more detailed and a longer series again because I am really enjoying myself. You are beautiful, by the way. So yeah, th I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned, of course, for the end tour, which we are going to add a lot more festive lights to this little winter mini zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!